Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. Now, recently, with the whole McFarlane Toys, with the Kickstarter Spawn, if you're not familiar, Spawn made a return with the new Spawn's Universe line, and we're already two waves in now, with the third wave we're going to be talking about today. And, as a big Spawn toy collector, I would say that it's been good, some things have hit, some things have been a miss, but I think the main glaring issue would be a solid, just normal spawn figure. We've had a few in the Mortal Kombat line, but one that's more in the vein of spawn, spawn's universe, if you catch my drift. The throne spawn was okay, I think it looks a lot better with a custom cape, just saying. But it's one of those things where I'm really happy as a Spawn collector, Spawn fan, and seeing a bunch of new characters. But then in seeing the line continue, I'm like, well, I think that new collectors would need a little bit more jumping off points. You know, a lot of, uh, what is this figure? Who are these characters? That kind of thing. And um, yeah, the comics these days, they're interesting, I'm just going to say. Old, Capullo, drawn, Spawn, all that stuff from the 90s. Awesome. The new Spawn, the new characters, I like them better, I think, as action figures. And, of course, again, uh, that's really what we're going to be talking about today. But enough about all that. If you are interested, as always, in any of the figures we're going to be talking about today, I'll have affiliate links down in the description below. Thanks for using my links. They'll help the channel to grow. Now, first and foremost, this is one set of characters... I'll tell you honestly that I was going, I think we need a new Sam and Twitch. And this is going to be the new updated looks, the more modern looks for Sam and Twitch, which I don't mind, right? Because get the Ashley Wood really cool artist series, famous covers of Sam and Twitch. Those are the ones to get. Or you can even get the old, was it series, series seven? I got to go back and look. But they got a two-pack, and they used to do two-packs all the time with action figures. So you have Sam and Twitch in their modern looks. And I don't mind it at all. I, it's a good look. It's different figure enough for me, different characters. I think that these are two solid core spawn characters. These are the ones that you'd want for your collection. It's Sam and Twitch. And what I like that they have done here is emphasize the artwork look for them i like sam's new head portrait i always think of sam as being the really bulbous fat cop this one he does look a little weird in some instances again always with these spawn photos and such it's best to wait until you have these figures in hand or you can look at them in hand in the store to really make the final decision because sometimes these are just early prototypes and they just take photos and you get the drift now one thing i will say is i really hope that sam's gun is removable right there in the holster that would be nice doesn't look like there's a whole lot of paint on it it looks like a brown gun for whatever reason he does come with a tommy gun which hey that's pretty cool as well. It's nice to see spawn characters, cops with guns, right? Totally works. But he only has one pair of hands, and he's only got one open hand. The other one's a fist, so he can't hold the Tommy gun like you'd hold a Tommy gun. You know what I mean? So that's like a head scratcher. Alrighty. Twitch. I like the new look for Twitch. I do like the push broom mustache for Twitch. I kind of like that better. Again, the head portrait kind of resembles the artwork. I totally dig that. I like all the different folds in the fabric. That is Sam and Twitch to me that works. I get it. You've had many different iterations, looks for the various Sam and Twitches over the years, but it's pretty much the finite little guy with the orangish blonde hair and the, the big fat guy cop who eats a bunch of donuts speaking of donuts if you see the package you get to see everything in there twitch has guns sam's got a gun sam doesn't come with a donut come on a box of donuts donut for sam that's that's a missed opportunity right there that would have been really cool to see i gotta go dig it in my parts and pieces box too if i got some donuts i know i have them somewhere and on the side of the box oddly enough it says city of new york police detective 666 I like what they're doing with the with the spawn packaging. It looks nice. It's very eye-catching. So let me know your thoughts on old Sam and Twitch. I should say new Sam and Twitch down in the comments below. Now, with old characters returning, now new characters arriving in your spawn shelves, we have Omega Spawn. And this guy is a mega figure. Uh, that's a good call, right? He's supposed to be a big, big figure. 
Looks to have a lot of paint all over him. Nice reds, the blacks, big thorny guy. He's got plastic chains, unfortunately. And I know a lot of people, myself included, I've been known to do this. And I've been really trying to make the effort not to do this because it really does detract from the fact of this is now and back then was then. And to compare and contrast, I'm going to say it right here and now. All my old Spawn figures are awesome. I love them. They hold so many memories. It was a lot of fun collecting them. And they were just sweet. You know, they had real chains. They didn't have a lot of articulation, which modern audiences like all that articulation. And that's the trade-off, right? For new figures, everybody wants articulation, which, yeah, they do do good, right? They got a lot of articulation in these figures. But then they don't have metal chains. They don't have a bunch of paint. So it's a trade-off, right? I wish it could go... Just all in one, but sadly, price points what they are, that's just not the thing. But McFarlane usually is the one to get you a lot of bang for your buck, especially in this day and age. But if you look at the backside of this guy, his whole feathery cape thing, it's okay. It's just a solid color, but you know, back in the day, that would have been washed and covered in different paint variances and everything else. You get my drift. But I will say this, he... Does look a little small, let's say, for what I think of Omega Spawn. Again, relatively new character, so it remains to be seen. But I always appreciate when I get the opportunity to grab a new figure. A lot of retreads, a lot of, oh, hey, we're bringing the vintage back. Oh, hey, we're doing the retro series. And then it's like, oh, I already have that character multiple times over. Omega Spawn is a Spawn figure that I don't have on my shelves. So definitely am interested in this guy. And then we'll say... I was interested. When I first heard I'm like, oh, yeah, Nightmare Spawn. Very cool. And then I kind of saw the photos of it. I go, the heck is that? <laughs> this is one of my big regrets from my Spawn collecting days. I do not have the Nightmare Spawn. I know. You can boo me and throw the tomatoes all day, right? I get it. It's my fault. I passed on him. I have to live with this every day going forward. However... When they said we're doing Nightmare Spawn again, I was like, cool. There's my chance, right? I could always go on eBay and get another one, right? But I just haven't done it. But uh, this one, I'm going to be honest with you, maybe it'll look better in hand. I'm just saying. If you look at the original Nightmare Spawn, I mean, again, and not trying to go, oh, look at the old one, look at the... But that one's pretty solid. We can all agree on that. I mean, that thing's just evil looking. This thing... It's got a lot of wonky, weird stuff. Again, all the modern articulation you could think of. Paint looks like it. Looks like all of the wings and such, right? It looks pretty cool. Do the wings move? Probably up and down, maybe back and forth, but not like a draped situation. At least you don't have to buy another figure, a la NECA, huh? Gargoyles to get draped wings. I like the Gargoyles line. That's, that's a weird dig. Anyways, it's a Nightmare Spawn single release figure. The gauntlets, the paint, this one is throwing me for a loop. This is one of those where I'm like, will it be better in hand? Who knows? Because as of right now, it's just not what I think of with Nightmare Spawn. And when you see on the backside, you get one last glimpse of, yeah, that's the Nightmare Spawn to me. That's how he should look. Continuing on with new characters. This is actually pretty cool. One of those where I kind of had to honestly go back and go like, okay, who is this guy? Now, I remember seeing him with the ants and all those different weird image characters. This is King Spider, and this guy looks cool as a character on a page. How he translates to plastic, it's kind of a toss-up. I like the face. I like various parts and pieces of what they're doing here. He comes with a chain, extra hands, a stand, and a little tiny stand, kind of like what they did with Haunt, right? Really dug that. So I appreciate the extras in the box. He's got really cool gold shoes. <laughs> <laughs> that's it's kind of weird anyways the green the diaper just again this is one of those where i'm like okay interesting do i need this yeah he's a new character am i happy the way it looks i don't know yet <laughs> to be honest with you and in doing king spider if you do the ant that would be another solid figure for a future wave right i'm really hoping for a new savage dragon that would be awesome as well and of course all packaged up, looks good, green. The white looks a little bit better in package now that I see it, you know. So it might be one of those situations where I thought with Haunt, I was like, I love the character of Haunt. Did they execute it well? Yeah, and then you get him in hand, and you're like, oh yeah, they actually did a solid job. So one of those where I'm like, cool concept, we'll see how that goes 
when you actually have the figure. Which finally brings us to... I'm going to say I really like Sam and Twitch, but this one I think is new, he's exciting, and dang, does he look cool. This is the Plague Spawn, relatively new character, quote-unquote, time traveling. It's like a whole bunch of Venom nonsense kind of thing. It's like a prototype that got turned into like the first edition of Spawn's costume, but he's like a super evil guy. It's kind of confusing. I need to update my new spawn knowledge. But in either sense, I know who this character is in the sense of looking at him, right? Okay, he's got that cool orange glow to him. His mouth is kind of like Carnage, you know, in a way. If uh, if Haunt is Venom, in a way, then Plague Spawn was kind of Carnage. But you look at the backside, I love the spikes. The hands are awesome. This guy's got a lot of textured effects. He's the new big bad, and I... Uh, Appreciate that. If you have the old Mal Bolgia, you have all these really cool demon sweet, creepy enemies for spawn, and this guy's gonna fit in really nicely. So very excited about the new plague spawn, and I like the base, extra hands. This is what I want to see. See, and going from we'll say wave one to now this wave three, you get to see all the improvements. They've done good things. Some things maybe need a little bit more improvement, but in either case, yeah, I, I'm very excited for plague spawn. So that'll wrap it up for the reveals of the newest wave for Spawn's Universe, Wave 3. And again, if you are looking for any of the pre-orders, if you're excited about any of these figures, you can grab all the links that you need down in the description below. And tell me, which characters are you excited for? Where are you a Spawn collector? How do you feel about the new Spawn line? And again, I like what they're doing. For the most part, some things are better than others. Like, I'm not too jazzed about that overkill that they released last time around. But I really like the other characters that they did. So more new characters is always appreciated. Caused me to read up on Spawn, the modern Spawn. Because, again, I really like the idea of Spawn back in the 90s, right? Even through the 2000s and all that. The more modern Spawn, it's kind of taken a different twist where... It's cool and it's not, but the designs always make for great action figures. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, yes, I would love some more Real Chains action. But if you look at my Necron video and, and you just you go to the Walmart costume jewelry section, you can equip your spawn, Ghost Rider, anybody that uses chains, I'm telling you. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.